With 118 islands scattered across the South Pacific in five distinct archipelagos, a trip to French Polynesia is a paradise choose your own adventure. Turquoise blue lagoons, palm fringed beaches, romantic overwater bungalows, lush mountains, and unblemished coral habitats fill your days. It's what dream vacations are made of. Here at Travel Global, our goal is to bring you some of the most amazing travel destinations and tips as you adventure around the globe. So do subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell icon to add amazing new places to your travel bucket list. Without any further delay, let's get started. Number 5. Four Seasons Resort Bora Bora Scattered along the Bora Bora Lagoon, famed for its ice blue water and multicolored fish, the 107 overwater and beach villas are positioned to take in the vivid sunsets and view of Mount Otemanu, the island's extinct volcano. Inside, the color scheme is a serene beige so as not to conflict with the intense colors of the ocean. Its design accents are meant to reflect the island. Teak furnishings and fabric prints based on body tattoo patterns sported by many of the locals. Resort guests often choose to stay in for breakfast on their decks, watching the trays being delivered in Polynesian canoes. Otherwise, meals in the three restaurants vary among Asian, French, and Polynesian. Between meals, guests can spend their days relaxing by the outer lagoon or a shallow inner lagoon that can feel like a life-sized aquarium. Go in every day and you may well see the same fish. Number 4. The Brando the Atoll of Tetiaroa, 30 miles north of the main island of Tahiti, was a sanctuary for Polynesian royalty for centuries. It became a hideaway for Marlon Brando as well. He acquired the ring-shaped reef in 1967 after falling for these islands while making the film Mutiny on the Bounty. It was his intention to create an ecologically sound, carbon-neutral, luxurious resort here. But after his death, it fell to local hotelier Richard Bailey to bring Brando's vision to life. The Hollywood legend would likely approve of the outcome. 10 of the 12 motors that comprise the atoll have been left in pristine condition as a nature preserve containing white sandy beaches, thickets of coconut palms, a sanctuary for tropical birds, a rainforest, and a seashell-shaped pond imbued with local legends. The Brando is on the Motu Onetahi, 35 bedroom villas with one to three bedrooms, built in Polynesian style, constructed in wood and covered with pandanus leaves. Guests can book the Brando residence, which is a three-bedroom, 3,000-square-foot 3, house on 1.25 acres of land and a private beach. All houses and villas have their own pools. Brando's insistence on conservation has been maintained. The air conditioning system operates with water pulled from deep under the ocean, and electricity is run on coconut oil. But it's hardly a Spartan resort. All of the structures have haute design, and the menus featuring French Polynesian dishes are supervised by by Guy Martin, the Michelin two-star chef of Le Grand Vefort in Paris. Number three, Le Taha Island Resort and Spa. Located on secluded Motu Totu, with views of Bora Bora on one side and the island of Taha'a on the other, this relais and chateau member has the lagoon all to itself, with no other resorts around. It's surrounded by a garden of colorful coral, which is nirvana for snorkelers. And when the breezes blow, they carry the scents of Taha'a's vanilla fields. Indoors at Le Taha'a Island Resort, the 58 overwater and beach villas also have details to admire, particularly the delicately carved local wood lining the walls of the Polynesian style cottages. Meals vary from the island's trademark dish, Poisson Cru, al fresco in the restaurant on the beach, to French Polynesian fusion in the gourmet restaurant Ohiri. And to further the relaxation quotient, guests retreat to the Tavai Spa for a Polynesian Torumi massage, the motions of which are passed down through generations. Number two, Tikahoe Pearl Beach Resort. While development over the years has made the Society Islands, of which Bora Bora and Tahaha are a part, more popular and crowded, the Talmoto Islands Northeast are still something of a secret. It's all pristine water dotted with coral and very few hotels. The island of Tikahau, which means peaceful landing, has one of the best, but it's small and very much in the tone of the rest of these islands. There are 37 overwater bungalows and beach suites at Tikahau Pearl Beach Resort. 
This 10-acre property filled with coconut palms and pink sand beaches is in the middle of an untouched 16-mile lagoon. The style is pure Polynesian. Roofs thatched with coconut palm leaves, interiors constructed with teak, bamboo, and other local woods. Meals are served in the one restaurant, combining Polynesian with European classics, and the spa delivers age-old local treatments. Number one, the St. Regis Bora Bora Resort. Around the bend from the Four Seasons, the St. Regis Bora Bora Resort boasts the largest overwater villas in the South Pacific, starting at 1,550 square feet. Of the 89 villas, the crown jewel is the Royal Estate, a 13,000 square foot compound surrounded by coral with its own private beach, a hideaway which made an appearance in tabloids worldwide back in 2006 when Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban chose it for their honeymoon. They they could also have chosen another beach villa in the 44-acre property with a private helicopter pad. Like other St. Regis resorts, 24-hour butlers are ready when you are, and brand names are on view throughout the resort. Among the four restaurants is the French Asian Lagoon Restaurant by Jean Georges, and the spa is affiliated with the French skincare company Clarence. And like the Four Seasons, there's a separate inner lagoon called the Lagoonarium. It provides guaranteed snorkeling because the resort stocks it with a rainbow assortment of fish. Which resort did you like best? Would you like to travel to Tahiti as soon as it's possible again? Leave us a comment below and make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future travel videos. With that, I'll see you in the next video.